They meet Bolton at Wembley. Throughout the 20th century, the cinema has been providing first-class popular entertainment. You take the cinema for granted. But how much longer will it be there? The tax is killing it. On a three-shilling seat, the tax is a shilling and a halfpenny. On a two-shilling seat, sixpence halfpenny. Here's a comment on the tax from the well-known exhibitor, Sir Alexander King. Charles confronting the Chancellor is simple. He either abolishes the entertainment tax or abolishes the cinematic art industry. Now, Richard Todd. Stupid, anomalous position when we pay our tremendous entertainment taxes and they don't pay any tax at all. For example, uh, supposing the film industry some years ago made a film which was a success. Uh, we paid entertainment tax on it and we also paid uh, tax on the profits. Now, supposing we want to reissue that film, we pay entertainment tax all over again. If, on the other hand, TV wants to show that film, they can show it and not pay tax on it. And a comment from Anna Needle. Studios which have been sold and are now warehouses and garages could be reopened. New talent fostered uh, and full employment again for technicians. And the British public could enjoy a greater proportion of our own British films. All this must inevitably happen if the entertainment tax, the cinema tax, is abolished. Famous film studios like Pinewood and Elstree, for example, have had to cut down production because of the impact of the cinema tax. If they have to close, thousands of technicians and craftsmen will be thrown out of work. We call this entertainment tax the cinema tax because it's only borne by the cinema. Football fans, good luck to them, don't have to worry about football being taxed out of existence. No tax on boxing either. It only falls on the cinema and so heavily. No entertainment tax on dog racing. Television, popular newcomer to the entertainment world, is not taxed. The cinema is. Not very fair, is it? Unless the tax is taken off, kids like these paying a few pennies for entertainment that keeps them happy and out of mischief may have to go without. Over 200 cinemas are closing every year. What about those glamorous first nights in aid of charity? Big cinema occasions attended by famous stars. The glamour is now a glittering facade, hiding the imminent threat of disaster. Disaster to a whole industry through an unjust, inequitable tax.